I'm here with Simon from Growtech. Um, so Simon, Growtech is a Canadian-based company. So can you tell me a little bit about your company? Sure. Yep. Um, we've been manufacturing in Vancouver, Canada for about 20 years now. Uh, I also get the opportunity to go to Spain a lot because we're manufacturing in Valencia now as nice. well. Yeah, so that's a nice little holiday when we get to go there. Um, we're, we're sold in about uh, 16 different countries directly now. Um, and then we also have sort of a, um, a sub-distribution network from there. Okay, excellent. Yeah. Um, so what do you specialize in? What are some of your products? What do they do? Sure. Yeah, I mean, essentially, our product line is pretty straightforward. Um, we have our uh, base nutrient, which is our Solotech. Uh, it is a one-part base nutrient, um, high organic content. Uh, it's going to have uh, humic acid, kelp, chitosan, um, some goodies like that, and then the mineral base. And the way I would see that is almost like a soup stock. Okay. And then once you start with that, then you can mix and match some of our supplements with it as well. Right. Um, so we actually have a basic feed chart, but we actually, as a brand, prefer it when people make their own feed chart okay. and sort of decide which pieces they want to use. Right. Yeah. So what is one of your most common or most popular products that a customer would know that yeah. Protec produces? Yeah, I mean, because we're all over the, the world now, I mean, every order is a little bit different, but the one that really stands out no matter where we are is going to be the Monster Bloom. Uh, Monster Bloom, our 05030, is a classic flower enhancer. Um, the nice thing about a lot of what we do is that our nutrient uh, supplements can actually work with different brands. Mm. And so a lot of people, what they do is they love the Monster Bloom and they'll actually mix that into their own recipe. Um, and that's what we like to do. I mean, we're a pretty low key company and what we want is just for people to do their own thing and be successful with some help from Grotech. Right, okay. Yeah. So that's what makes you stand out from, let's say, your competitors, is that your product can be in integrated with other products? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we're not we're not the type of company that's gonna tell people, oh, you gotta use all of ours, all 18 here of this and that and everything else. We just wanna make sure people get the best result they can out of their garden. And okay. for us, what that means is if, if they hone in on one of our products specifically that works well for them, we're really happy with that. Right. And we wanna support them in their garden. Okay. So you mentioned 18. So do you do you have 18 different products? Yeah, we probably do have about uh, I would say uh, oh, maybe uh, 22, 23 different okay. products. Yep. Um, again, though, everything's for a specific reason. Right. Um, so for instance, something like maybe the pro silicate. Somebody might use that if they live in a, a hotter environment and need some cell protection. Uh, you know, if they want to grow a stronger uh, you know stalk or stem on yep. the plant. So things like that, or maybe the CalMax, uh, you know, if you're getting a calcium or magnesium or iron deficiency. Okay. Um, so there's a lot of flexibility in what we do for the client. And how do you, if a client doesn't uh, know something or how to uh, necessarily use a product, how can they reach out to you to sure. help them out in that yeah, aspect? Th that's a great question. And I mean, definitely, um, you know, uh, info at growtech.net, uh, info at growtech.com, either one of those will work. Okay. Um, and essentially that would... Uh, come right through to me today onto my uh, Samsung device and uh, you know we're, we're good at getting answers for people right um, you know a lot of what we do is just like I said I mean we want to make sure people get the best result possible so even if it's you know recommending something else that we actually don't carry we'll do that as well um, because essentially we're gardeners helping gardeners right. and that's what we want to do and that's the focus of our business okay and uh, what was the uh, driving factor between going to Spain so you have a you know you started in Canada and now sure. Spain a wide branch off yeah. that way so essentially in Europe um, there's different uh, fertilizer laws I mean we don't need to get into the legality of it uh, I'm not a litigious individual anyway but I mean essentially for us to produce over there made it much easier for us to access a broader European right. client base okay. um, and it's been a big uh, a big change for us um, you know there's a lot of bumps along the way right. um, but we're there now and uh, it's been amazing uh, you know our distributor uh, in Spain Hortatech has been supporting us through the whole um, you know, transition right. um, and made it really comfortable for us to, to work with, um, you know, him on all those issues. And, uh, you know, it's, it's been really, really good for us for the past about three and a half years now we've been doing that. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, so you mentioned that Monster Bloom is basically your number one product. Sure. Um, so I see it comes, does this only come in, do you have a liquid form or is it powder form? No, this or? one's going to be an all powder. Okay. Um, obviously we do carry a lot of liquids as well, um, right. but for us this, this product's more about sort of a concentrated effect. Um, and being a 0-50-30, I mean this is just about as high up the nutrient scale as you can get. Uh, so this product is going to be basically a, a monopotassium phosphate base. Um, it's going to have uh, extra vitamins and a few other nutrient um, additives as well put into it to ensure that during that really peak flower production you're getting the maximum yield that you can possibly get. Um, with the Monster Bloom, um, another thing that we really shoot for as a company is we try to get the 
the highest quality ingredients that we can possibly find. Right. Um, so one of the key ingredients in this product actually comes as far away uh, as from Israel. Mm -hmm. um, and the reason why we do that is because that ingredient is highly soluble and has very low contaminants. Um, you know, unfortunately, there's always going to be cheaper options right. in the marketplace. Um, and it's always tempting for people to say, uh, you know, I want to manufacture at a cheaper cost, so right. you know, let's go with that cheaper product. But at the end of the day, our position is, is that we want to give people the best ingredients we possibly can for growing their plants. Okay. And if I was wanting to use this product, when would I want to start using this? Can I start right away? Yeah, Do I, I need mean, to wait a certain amount? Yeah. And this is where the really interesting thing is, being in so many different countries, everyone's got a different way to use our products. Right. Um, for instance, if I was chatting with some Cubans in Miami right now, they'd probably be using Monster Moon from the day they get started. Okay. Um, so so technically on our feed chart, we say that Monster Bloom should be added mid to late flowering. Um, it is really meant to add that sort of size to the pre-existing flowers. Um, but it can be used earlier in the flowering cycle if somebody wants to use it that way as well.